Hello my guys, welcome back to Math for French Cars. So here I have my Peugeot 407 here. Today is a special day for me. <laughs> Comes quite often when you are taxi, every four months to be exact, because you have to go, if a car is older than seven years old, in my council where this car is plated as a taxi, you have to go through compliance test every four months to make sure your car is sound. Now the problem is, this morning I took it, I took it for a good spin, and what happened? My engine management light came on. So, just to prove you, I'm not joking. I'm gonna start the car, and you'll see the management engine management light just stays on. Now it's not great, but. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make a little video just to show you guys what I'm doing when that happens. It says depollution system error that could call that could be caused by too many things. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna just take my it says oil low as well. So we're gonna have to top that up on our way to MOT center probably. Um, it is a bit low. I haven't serviced this car for a while. Maybe I should have, but just didn't have the time, just been busy with the work and everything else. Anyway, long story short, um, I have software called the Box. My software is in this dinosaur ancient computer here. So basically what it is, I got a laptop for like 30 quid. And because the Box software works best with a Windows XP, Windows XP professional or, you know, just Windows XP. Some people use it on a Windows 10, but you have to create like a virtual drive, I believe, and it's loads of headache. So we just, until we're gonna, you know, wait till this ancient dinosaur is gonna load up. Um, yeah, what else can I tell you? Um, the Yagbox software comes in like two CDs. Uh, you can get it from eBay for about 40, 50 quid. Uh, you install it in like a laptop, it comes with a few cables as well and basically what it does it's the main dealer used software so it scans the whole car literally every single function of a car and it works a trick it works it like a dream because you can see everything on it and i would strongly recommend for you whoever has a peugeot citroen i've scanned some ds's as well um it works really well you can run the full diagnostics of your car you can do million other things you can turn off the airbags turn on airbags you can you know check pretty much anything pressures of the different things and whatnot you just name it everything is pretty much there whatever dealer can do it with his software diag box is basically lets you do it yourself so yeah we're gonna Try to run the Yak box and scan the whole car as soon as this laptop gonna load eventually. Right, the laptop is loading up. I just want to show you a cable which the Yak box comes with. So it's this kind of cable, and it has socket like this to go into your OBD socket in a car, and then just literally USB plug to go into your laptop. So we're just gonna stick that, stick that plug into the into the laptop the reason i'm making this video is because i had a quite a few new subscribers on this channel some of the people ask me to make a video about how do you use the yak box how you scan your car so i thought why not guys you know i try to do as much as i can for you so might as well just make a video for you so the other the other side this side as you can see in 407 the obd socket is here when you lift your armrest so i just stick it in here and that's gonna stay there go what we're gonna do now we're gonna press on the yak box i'm gonna go into what i'm gonna do and turn off my car just go into ignition so ignition is on so now once ignition is on hopefully the yak box is gonna be able now to scan my whole car just want to really quickly get rid of those fault codes and get rid of that engine management light because my compliance test is literally in one hour my MOT is in one hour so it's not idle to have you know 
engine management light on when you go for MOT. It's like you're gonna know that you're gonna need to come back there probably. Right. This laptop takes a long time to load. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but what can you do? Just have to be patient. Here we go. The Yagbox software seems to be loading. Right. Hopefully it loads quick. Because every minute for me counts now. Still have to go get a liter of oil just to top my oil up a little bit. Uh, I think I've done everything else. Hopefully it passes first time, but you never know. It has not been serviced for last two, three months. So it might fail on emissions or something because the oil in it is old. Hopefully not, but I neglect this car a little bit because I've just been concentrating on work and then the building up the other car a little bit. So it's just what it is. So basically what's happened here um, once the air box open, as you could see, it let me choose Citroen or Peugeot. I've chose Peugeot, and then it finds my VIN number. Once I clicked onto my model of the car, so 407. Now it lets me choose the air box or Peugeot Planet. So I choose the air box. Internet connection. You don't need that because we're not running legit copy of this software we're running like probably illegal one because you bought it from ebay so you don't even know you don't need to activate it or anything it's just cracked software basically so just have to wait for a second hopefully all right this thing comes up again it's just loading for a while. I don't want to put the software on my good laptop because this software works best with Windows 6P like I, you know, and my all other laptops are Windows 10. So in order to even run this software, I would have to create like virtual drive or something like that with a Windows 6P in it or something just to trick the software. But I'm just running on this right okay so now it takes me to the other page where it's like delivery to delivery of vehicle to a customer repair or fault finding so i just click on fault finding because i wanted to run the full diagnostics of my car and hopefully it does that quick because i literally in a hurry so now it's just gonna run the whole scan of a car We're just gonna wait for a few minutes till it's done. So it looks not too bad so far. I have, I can see I have one fault with BCI. I have five faults with ignition and injection. So that's probably gonna be usual. It's preheated to relay circuit, probably flow meter signal, EGR, something else. Just a typical faults common to Peugeot 407. Wonderful, so now the scan has been completed and hopefully we can just, okay, global test. Now we can see our faults, so BSI, what is BSI? Unexpected reinstallation fault coming from BSI. Oh well, whatever, that's not a problem. Now we can see injection 
ignition cooling function integrated into ECU fan unit, electric EGR, Wolf copy signal, preheated flow meter. So you can expand, it shows you more about more information about the faults. What I want to do is just I want to click on this little folder here. I just want to go here, click this little thing here. Hopefully, it'll take me further down where I can actually delete the faults. Here we go. So I'm just gonna go repair because I don't have time to dig deep into these faults at the moment. I just want to clear the faults, make sure my EML disappears. I need to go for MOT. Right, so reading and clearing of faults. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to press the bin to bin all these faults. Right, press that one again. And then it says... Oh, bloody internet thing keeps coming up, but I don't need it. Right, let's crack on quickly. It says mileage, oh, 223,000 miles. That's what my card is on. So I don't mind putting that one in. Now, just press yes. Press thing on a corner again. I'm sorry, I'm not expanding too much, guys. I just have my MOT in like less than one hour. So I just have to literally hurry up and see how this is gonna go so it says array is in progress whatever now it says clearing carried out switch off ignition and switch it on again so i just literally gonna switch off ignition switch it on back again now i'm gonna just press ok and now as you can see no fault find so hopefully now when i start my car it's gonna be no fault let's have a look i'm just gonna try to go back in a thingy in a diagnostics summary yeah, as you can see scanned everything pretty much right what was that bsi that's probably because i have reinstalled the this unit here and sometimes i i I paired it with a VIN number and with a car, but it still sometimes comes up. Anyway, now let's start the car. And hopefully, the engine light, as you could see, just disappeared. So I think I'm good to run for MOT. Just need to run quickly to the shop, grab one liter of oil and top it up because the oil level comes up as low oil level. So now, once your software, once your fault delete is done what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna close the software I'm just gonna keep the this laptop I think in the boot just in case the fault or something comes up just before MOT center but well, hopefully it doesn't right just wanna get out of here there you go it closes the program now so you saw how easy it was and how quick it was just to delete those errors um now i'm gonna have a drive anyway i'm gonna have a multi try to pass it and after i'm back home i'm probably gonna try to scan it again and see which faults if any has come back and if any faults has come back then i'm gonna dig deeper and you know and see what what's going on and why did i get those faults in the first place so thank you for watching guys i hope this short little video was helpful at all for you um now i'm just gonna disconnect my obd close that um yeah that's it i'm good to go no engine management lights everything works as it should beautiful right we're gonna try to crack on and get that mot done thank you for watching guys if you enjoy my channel and my, my videos please click subscribe button i'm really trying to get more subscribers really appreciate any every single subscriber i get so thank you for watching